Now let's look at ducking against the cross. I'm going to show you a couple of options and then is going to show you a couple of options. So, really simple, more boxing ones that I like to use is option one, she ducks and throws the jab to my body or she ducks and throws the cross to my body or you can go single up to the head where you duck and you throw the jab up high to the face which gets you under the punching line as they look down, you punch them upwards 45 degrees or she can do the cross. Okay, then you can start linking it as well. So she can go jab cross to the body, go duck and jab cross to the head, or you can also start mixing it up. So she can go body first, then up to the head, jab cross, or she can go head first, then to the body. So that's like playing about just with the levels, but the point is you're right in front of them and you're controlling the center line and mixing up the head and the body levels. Your favourite ones are? Uh, so I've got three, I've got two ones with a hook. So as he throws the, the cross, I go slip roll underneath and as I'm coming through, I could do a left hook. What's slightly more favourable is as he goes for the cross, I step out with the left leg and I go right body hook and I can really jam my fist and especially with the rotation of the body, I can curl my fist in quite nicely. Uh, the third one is probably my personal favourite. I like getting quite low, I like sitting into my kick. So as I go for a cross, I'm just going to do a really nice power round kick with the right leg. I bring my knee right across the target so it has a little bit more push and flick off rather than kind of like a normal kind of like straight leg power up one more time there. And I stay quite low because I can get good hip rotation. Cool, so yeah, you can use the duck, you follow with punches or duck and use the kick to the body as well, which works very nicely.